Ladies and gentlemen, this picture that you're looking at are two inmates that work at the state capitol in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, free of charge. They work in the kitchen, free of charge. These folks are not concerned about crime. They're not concerned about violence. See, they just use that as smoke screens. This is what they really want. This is the goal to be achieved by grabbing any and every black men and boys from the streets, throw them behind bars, and this is the end result they really want. Trust me, a people that started a nation in violence ain't concerned about no damn violence. This is what they want. And this has always been the goal. This is why when our forefathers left the plantation, they start calling our people criminals. See, there's a timeline to everything these folks say to us. There's a timeline to it. And it just goes to show you how much they have passed down to each other from chattel slavery. And this is not the only thing. You know, when I was coming up, it was even in the history books how they would go on the plantations and mess with the slaves and tell them, go back to Africa. Do you know they've been saying that since chattel slavery? It just proves right there how much they pass down through their generations. So let's get into this story. You're a slave inside Louisiana's forced prison labor and a failed overhaul attempt. It's failed because they don't want this to go away. Okay, there's a reason why there's a disproportionate amount of black men, regardless to whether a crime was committed or not, they're in prison. If this place was genuine about crime, then you wouldn't be putting all kinds of people in there that didn't commit a crime. That's the dead giveaway right there of what you're trying to achieve. And that's just slavery, perpetual slavery for the offspring of the enslaved. Breakfast at the Louisiana State Capitol includes fresh coffee, cookies, and egg sandwiches made and served in part by incarcerated people for no pay. They focus on forced labor down there. That's what they focus on. Jonathan Archilly, a 29-year-old who is among more than a dozen current and formerly incarcerated people in Louisiana who told the Washington Post that they felt like enslaved people in the state's prison system because that's what you are. That's what you are. Mm-mm-mm. And he was saying even the prison staff call them slaves. They call them slaves. But see, like I said, this is what they really want. This is the end game to criminalizing the Black community and always harping on violence and this violence and that. Violence. Most of these people ain't never seen one single Black person in their life commit a crime. They haven't. The majority of them haven't. 
you know where they get this garbage from the media but them they themselves with their own two eyes most of these people ranting have not physically seen one of us commit a crime and they know it so let's continue on this story because this just proves that y'all can't live without slavery this is the proof right here you're a slave and that's what they tell us he said a spokesman for the louisiana department of public safety and corrections kim pastorick said they it does not tolerate such language and looking into that y'all y'all, y'all say that about racism too because you can disregard what this dude said he's full of crap you know it, it's amazing how every statement that comes out y'all don't tolerate it but it is permeated all over the country oh we don't tolerate y- yes you do you've been tolerating it for centuries so in the midterms in 2022 voters in four states approved changes to their constitutions to remove enabling involuntary servitude such as a punishment for crime part of a larger push for change that many say is long overdue but louisiana they decided to keep their slavery it was five states the other states voted to get rid of slavery from their constitution and louisiana said eh, no nah, we like our slavery down here we're keeping it some observers and proponents of louisiana's amendment attributed the result to a convoluted wording on the ballot no nah, ain't no wording okay so that's the excuse you're using okay i'm not buying that not buying it at all the amendments that passed in other states aren't expected to lead to immediate drastic changes that would acquire further legislation and legal challenges and it's unclear what would have happened had the muddled louisiana measure won approval so you know they're going to do what they have done all this time keep slavery going and having these inmates out here working for free that that's really what they think we're around for (laughs) to work for free well your country is heavily in capitalism you didn't build a nation that people can live free in so so it, it's ridiculous for you to even think like that but then again never mind let's go on y'all advocates are pushing for more state constitutional changes in upcoming elections saying they are fighting for greater protections in the system that disproportionately affects black people and forces many people to work for little to no pay that's what America's all about. Isn't that the whole foundation of the country? You know, see, that's why they love these illegals coming over here. Because they'll pay them pennies on the dollar. And they don't realize many of them will come over here and look down on us. But when you're getting paid pennies on the dollar, your ass is a slave too. I don't know what the hell you're thinking so anyway there are campaigns about uh in dozens of states such as florida new york and ohio for similar ballot measures in 2024 and the question could return in louisiana in 2023 as many as 800,000 incarcerated people work in prisons across the country and these prisons are earning nine billion dollars a year in services for inmates and the ones that are creating products and goods using inmates they make two billion dollars a year 
while paying inmates nothing. Slavery. You know, and and you know what you know what is really funny? We have seen how your system runs. Your system runs like Jim Crow. The system gives white people little to no sentence and for the same crime committed by someone in the black community you throw the book at them and they get the most years behind bars but the end game is slavery at the end of the day that's what it is it's slavery so ladies and gentlemen you know if politicians in this country were concerned about the situation they would make sure judges are giving out sentences even across the board until they do that the system is so ladies and gentlemen these two inmates that you're looking at work at the state capitol they get no pay and the customers are not allowed to tip them so that is 100 percent a slave 100 percent a slave so you know I, I don't blame these inmates for complaining you're saying well you should at least give us something but they give nothing you know that is pure evil that is pure evil and what makes it even more evil they got this system set up even when you serve all your time a lot of businesses will not hire you so ultimately you're going to end up back behind bars because how are you going to survive out here and see and all of that is done on purpose and see and this government should be following up to make sure these businesses are not pulling those stunts out here. You know, so what you're really saying is, I don't care if they serve their time, I'm not giving them a chance. Well, that sounds like Jim Crow. You are you sound like you got the mind that's still back in Jim Crow. So this is nothing but just taking advantage and abusing and enslaving um, their inmates. And here they are sitting there making billions of dollars every year. And this is what they're doing to inmates that are working every single day, y'all. Think about yourself working every day on a job and you're not getting any money. And see, like I said, that's why they try to gaslight us on all of this, oh, crime and this and that. I just find it hard to believe a, a people that started a nation on crime and killing and cruelty is that concerned about violence. I mean, I just don't believe you're that concerned about it at all. And if you were that concerned, you would ensure that innocent people would not be behind bars and you don't do that either. So you you ain't that concerned about no crime up in here. You could care less about it. All you want is the enslavement of the same people you had enslaved 500 years ago. That's the only concern you got. So y'all, please tell me what you think. They claim the measure is coming up again for Louisiana. We shall see if this is even going on, you know, and I was looking at another article and it was talking about Angola and how they got Angola all segregated and, you know, and they got all this racial discrimination and guess who's doing the heavy load there and not getting paid. Just take a guess. These people are full of crap. That's what they are and they don't have a genuine bone in their body. All they want is to be in comfort at somebody else's expense. 
and they're satisfied with that and got the nerve to form their non-existent lips to call somebody lazy. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.